The model we've already developed is sometimes known as the hybrid pie model. It generally, in its most general form, it has the uh, R0 resistor in it. In it. In this video, we're going to develop an alternative equivalent model, or a model that's equivalent to the hybrid pi model. This model is going to be referred to, or is referred to as, the T equivalent model. To accomplish this, we're going to go through a series of transformations which will keep the terminal characteristics, currents and voltages at each of the terminals, the same. But as we do so, we're going to come up with a, we're headed towards this uh, model right here that has some interesting characteristics that are particularly useful under certain circuit configurations. So let's go ahead and get started with this by noting that we can rewrite this model here. By the way, we're going to leave the R out, the uh, little lowercase r0 resistance, the, the uh, early effect resistance, out of our development right now. We can add it at the end. So as we go from this model to this model, we're simply adding a second dependent current source in series with this current source. Now you'll see why we do it here in just a minute, but clearly the current coming into this terminal here is still G sub M VGS just as it was coming in here. I sub D is still the same. The current coming in at the gate is still zero, and the voltage across here is still the voltage across um, the drain to source. Now going from this step to this step, we add this connection between the gate and this node that was marked X. We can do that because the current here at this terminal will still be zero. A KCL at this node has a current here G sub M VGS leaving, a current v G, sub M VG G sub M VGS coming in, and thus there's still no current here. Once again, the voltage across here is VGS. The current across here, is, or the voltage across here is VGS. No current coming in. So these two models are equivalent. Now, as we go from here to here, we simply lift this current source up, label this the drain, and replace the second current source with a resistance that's proportional to, or inversely proportional to, the transconductance parameter G sub m. We need to yet still show that the current coming in here, I sub G, is still zero. With this being the gate, this is the source. The voltage across here is V, or little lowercase v, G, S. The current flowing through here, then, will just be the voltage divided by that resistance, or little v, G, S, divided by 1 over G sub M, which is, of course, just G sub M v, G, S. So this current here, which is labeled as the source current, is the same as the current coming in here, labeled as the drain current. And once again, the current coming into the gate is zero. This then is known as the T equivalent circuit model. It's going to come in handy when the source isn't grounded. And when we're interested in, in current flowing into the source, either with a source, a, a, a voltage source connected to it, or for some reason the source being lifted up off of ground. Now we mentioned that we had left out R0 from our development here. Well, R0 was the resistance due to the early effect that went from the drain to the source. So in those instances when we need to take the early effect into account, we can add R0 going from the drain to the source and modify our T model accordingly.